Hello and welcome to Zoo to You. My name is Haley. I am a bird keeper here at the Cougar Mountain Zoo. And today I have something a little bit special. Um, I have my friend Coco here. Um, he is a blue-throated macaw. And this talk is gonna be all about birds and all about macaws specifically. We have quite a few macaws here at the zoo. Like I said, Coco here is a blue throw, um, but there's specific characteristics of macaws in general that I like to point out. Two characteristics that separate macaws from other parrots is they have a long pointed tail and they have bare skin on their face. So if you look at Coco here, he has that white skin and those beautiful, those beautiful turquoise feathers um, on his face. And now the feathers on his face, you would think they're kind of just little stripes, but they're teeny tiny little feathers. Um, and every single bird has a different one. So it's, <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like their little fingerprint, which is pretty interesting. They have that curved beak, perfectly um, adapted for opening seeds and nuts. Um, so I want you to kind of check out. Coco here is, doesn't have the strongest beak out of all the birds. So let's see if he can even open this English walnut. Oh, he did it. There you way to go, Coco. That was still really fast. We have a few hyacinth macaws here at the zoo and their beak is so strong that they can actually um, crack a broomstick with just one bite. Um, but Coco here impressed me and he broke into that walnut super easily and now he's enjoying it. Um, but if you can see, he also has a very special foot so he's holding on to his nut there you go um, and he has two toes facing backward and two toes facing forward now the kind of foot that that is is called zygodactyl now this makes these birds really really great at climbing makes them really great on holding on to things so if you see how he's holding on to my hand here um, he's gripping on with those two toes in the front and the two toes in the back um, they will actually choose climbing over flying because flying does use a lot of energy um, so they'll climb all around a tree and exhaust that tree of its resources all the yummy food and treats that they can find in it um, before they fly off to the next Coco here is one of our new <coughs> newer members of our bird family he's been here for about a year almost a year um, and he's gotten to had to get used to some adjustments here at the zoo living with other birds he didn't live with a lot of birds before he came here um, so he got to meet a lot a lot of new friends which is amazing um, and he got new friends in me too so doing this kind of training um, being able to walk around the magic forest where we are right now is pretty special this species is native to Bolivia and they are a critically endangered species so it's pretty special that we have Coco here at the zoo um, so we can talk about this species and what they're going through in the wild he is a little ambassador for his species um, and what's happening to these birds in the wild is they're losing their homes due to deforestation. So birds need trees to hang out in. Um, that's where they find their food, that's where they build their nests so they can have babies um, and reproduce and carry on their genes. Um, so if they don't have those trees to live in, they don't have anywhere to live anymore. So um, that's the main reason these birds are going towards extinction. But a little bit of conservation success is we actually hatched a blue-throated macaw um, here at the zoo. Her name is Juanita, and we have a breeding pair that lives down in our macaw area. That's a little bit of success here at home, here at the Cougar Mountain Zoo. Um, but what they're doing for these birds in the wild is they're planting artificial nest boxes in protected forests. Um, so the birds have a protected area where those trees aren't being um, at risk for being cut down. So they can use those nest boxes to um, have their nests and lay their eggs um, where they can sex successfully um, raise their babies in protected forests so they don't have um, the risk of those trees being cut down. Thank you for tuning in to Zoo to You. Hope you learned something new about macaws. Um, but I have a little bit of a challenge for you guys. I want you to look out your window, check out what's going on in your backyard, um, look at those native birds, and see if you can point out the differences um, when you're thinking about the things you learned in this video about macaws and, and their special characteristics and what you can see on those native birds, like what their beak looks like or what their feet might look like, um, and report back to us. Check it out and post it in the comments. My name is Haley. I am one of the bird keepers here at the zoo. We hope you enjoy this video, and I think Coco did too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Zoo to You. 
If you would like to help support Cougar Mountain Zoo, please follow the link below.